All right, so we have a problem here with the uh, ticket time. The issue is that when the claw comes down and grabs a roll of tickets and throws it into the sweeper here, the sweeper does not move. So it doesn't um, acknowledge that the tickets are there and it doesn't turn and doesn't sweep them into the bucket. Now uh, the motor has gone bad. Um, I already have a replacement motor, so the next step to do is to take it apart. Uh, I already removed all the tickets out of the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this top part and start removing some of the insides to get to the motor. All right, so we have a few things to do. So we've removed the top uh, top panel right here that holds all the tickets uh, to expose the sweeper and the plate and everything. Um, so what we got to figure out now is, you know, actually how to remove this area and expose the motor so we can actually replace the motor. Um, don't forget that down here, you will need to unhook all the wires I've already kind of started doing that. Um, unplug them, you know, remove them from here. Um, make sure you label them so that way you know where they go back. Unhook them so that way when you pull the wire, the whole table up, you can pull the motor out with it and then uh, hopefully be able to change it. So let me go ahead and start um, trying to figure out how to pull this bad boy out and I'll explain to you how I did it. Um, this is the first time I'm doing one, so hey. You always have to learn something. All right, so it's uh, pretty easy to take this thing out. So what I did is I removed the screws in the corner here, right there. You're never gonna get to this one, so I don't even think this side is screwed down. Uh, you also wanna remove these two screws, and then you can take this whole piece and just kind of lift it up and move it right out of the way. Go ahead and put it down somewhere where it won't get damaged. And then now you're left with the bottom piece, the turntable part, the sweeper. Um, next part to do is go ahead and remove these two screws. That way you can lift this plate, this whole piece of wood up, take it off, and then be able to replace the motor. Uh, could you do it with uh, everything attached? Probably, but uh, yeah, I think you still have to take the top part off to be able to get to these screws and uh, remove the motor. So, like I said, uh, make sure you unplug everything. Don't just pull the motor up because then you'll just be uh, yanking on the wires and probably make a little bit more damage than what you need. So make sure you unplug things and then now uh, we can remove that top part and uh, replace the motor. All right, so <clears throat> like I said, uh, you wanna make sure you unplug things before you start pulling um, cables up and whatnot. So uh, make sure you unplug it from here, simple. It just you know plugs right in and then you, know, you have these two that are right here. Um, I guess you could make yourself little markers or reminders of where would they go but um, it's pretty simple, you know, the black will be with the black and the yellow will be with the yellow. So you can go ahead and just kind of pull those bad boys off and just make a mental note of where they go, you know. Black's right at the bottom, yellow's right above it, uh, and you should be, you know, good to go. Right there. Black's right there. Nope, I'm sorry. I'm not even looking at my wires. Black's right there. Yellow right there. Sorry, I'm doing bad camera angles right here now. So, like I said, yellow goes with yellow, the black goes with black, and then you should be good to go. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit so I can get a little better picture. Yeah. Everything's kind of color coordinated, so you won't really have a problem putting the wires back together. So, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, pull this top table off. All right, so we got the top off, and now it's all empty here. Um, but I did do almost a rookie mistake, so I forgot to unplug the RF uh, receiver, you know? So, you know, I almost yanked those bad boys out. I was having a little trouble pulling it out. So I was like, what's going on? So before I got too manly and just yanked on it, I looked underneath and noticed I still had these plugged in. Oops, make sure you unplug things. Make sure you unplug everything before you pull things out. So that way um, you don't make more damage to your project. So let's go ahead and um, pull this uh, motor off and then we can uh, get started Here's another little warning um, so as I remove the screws from the motor I start to slowly always do things a little slowly you know at, at that moment uh, I started to pull it up and I noticed that I still had a wire attached and there was this wire right here so um, like I said you know always be careful with uh, when pull things apart so what you want to do here is just you know remove the two little screws well that's one the, this is just a plate that just covers it this stays attached to the actual black disc that's there. You can go ahead and unplug this, just some screws from there, take this little screw out, that way it's loose. And that way, when you lift the motor up, uh, this plate will go with it and it won't 
you know, pull, because that's what I was doing. I was kind of yanking on it. If I would have yanked it any harder, I definitely would have damaged either that part or broken this part, you know, and had to put the game down for a little bit longer until I get that part in. So we don't want to make problems. We want to fix the problems. So now that we've done that, we can safely remove the actual motor now and uh, start taking it apart. So let me go ahead and try that. All right, so now that we have it off, um, you know, while you have it apart, you know, go ahead and clean it because it, it is very dusty in here. All this dust will um, clog up the little receiver here and you know you might not be able to read the tickets the way it's supposed to anyways so from here we need to figure out how to actually remove the motor from the actual sweeper um i don't know if you could see it let me see if i could zoom in you kind of see it right there there's a set screw right there and there is a set screw on the other side right there so there's two set screws one there and one there. So now we're going to have to figure out a way to um, get in there to remove those set screws so we can take the sweeper off so we can remove the motor and replace the motor and then install the sweeper back on. So let's uh, try to figure that part out. Uh, let me see if I have something small enough to get in there. After I do it, I will tell you exactly how I did it. All right, so now that you have the correct uh, Allen key, you want to go ahead and remove those set screws. This should just slide right off. Make note that there is a flat spot there you see the flat spot that's where one of the set screws would sit on and the other one is just gonna you know help lock it all in place um so like i said you gotta get yourself a small little allen key like this kind of slips in through there kind of a bit of the pain in the ass but you know it, it works out fine um so just you know remove this part and then expose the screws for the motor and then you should just take those screws out drop the motor put the new motor in and it should be good so let's go ahead and do that all right so the new motor has been installed i went ahead and just gave it a quick wipe down you just wipe down some dust out of there you know uh, so there's always going to be some kind of weird fingerprints so you're never going to be able to get off um you know make sure you don't douse it too much you don't want to wet this over here um but the motor's back on you know make sure the screw is nice and tight all right from here we just got to start uh, putting everything back together we'll put the sweeper back on um then we'll mount it back to its uh piece of wood here and then we'll start putting the boxes back on and then uh, get the game back up and running and test it out so uh, let's go ahead and or let me go ahead and do that part and uh, I'll show you what I do next all right so everything is back together we've got our cover back on our sensor we got our sensor plugged back in tables all put back together so it's good to go the the actual sweeper feels nice it doesn't just kind of turn on its own so now we just gotta put it back in the game, connect all the wires, um, then slap the top parts back on, and then hopefully it works and we'll test it out from there. So let, let me go ahead and do this part and um, check it out. All right, so this part's back in. Remember, you gotta have to uh, run your wires through this little slot here, and then go ahead and you know plug it back in and plug your wires back in. Uh, make sure you plug the transmitter and receiver, the RF transmitter and receiver back in, and then uh, you can, finish up and put the rest of the top in and then we'll go ahead and test this bad boy out all right so everything's back in sorry about the noise uh so everything's back in um i didn't put the top part in or the, the tickets back in because i want to see the the sweeper actually work um i'm sure i could just probably look into this little section and see it work but i want to see the whole entire thing work so let's go ahead and coin the game up of course the sweeper is not gonna start going until i hit the claw down and then there you go. Motor starts working. Paul picks up quick tickets, throws it in there, sweeps it in, it reads it, and everything is good to go. So let me go ahead and finish everything else up and then we'll actually test to see if it reads the tickets to make sure that uh, I put everything back together the correct way. All right, so let's go ahead and do that part. All right, so now that we got all the tickets in, we're gonna go ahead and test the game real quick. Let's go ahead and coin it up. Paul move out, let it drop, sweep or start to go. If you don't pick anything up, doesn't matter. Just take one, throw it in there. And everything works. It should start counting. Hopefully. There it goes. All right. So, game's all good to go. Close her up. Let her play. Thanks a lot. All right, real quick, uh, just a quick reminder. You did uh, unzip tie all these little wires and stuff like that. So now that the game is up and running, uh, go ahead and take the time and re-zip all these wires back together real nice so that way it's not some spaghetti looking mess. 
Uh, it's just better for the game and better for you. That way, uh, if any other hands go in here, they're not uh, pulling on wires that they shouldn't be. All right, so once you zip tie that up, close the game up, let her play, and it's good to go. Hey, thanks for watching.